Hello everyone and welcome to another Stitch Fix unboxing for me. I feel like <sighs> I just very recently did one of these and I have one of them waiting to be edited and I just, it just things, they get away from me, okay? I changed my settings because I felt like I was getting them way too often. <laughs> um, but either way, uh, Stitch Fix, it's Stitch Fix time. Uh, I've got a box here and I've got to open this and film this so I can get my returns in so that I don't get charged for everything because I didn't return them in time. <laughs> I've also been ill these past couple of weeks here, so my apologies if I'm a little mucusy here. But Stitch Fix, it's my favorite, uh, not actually a subscription, but it feels like a subscription because I have it set to coming to me at a certain periodic time throughout the year. Um, but yeah, it's just a fashion styling service that you can sign up for online and you can have it set to come whenever you want. You can have it set to, I think, as soon as every couple of weeks to every couple of months like I do, or you could just say, I don't want it on schedule. I only want it when I request one. So in that sense, it is not a subscription, but you can kind of make it like a subscription if you want to by automating your orders. Uh, basically, you go online, you take your little style quiz, tell them what you are looking for in your wardrobe and everything, what you like, what you don't like, and then whenever you get a fix, uh, they'll send you five items that will hopefully match your style. <laughs> it also comes with a pre-stamped mailer bag, so any returns and exchanges come with the price of your box. It's 20 bucks to get styled, and then that $20, if you keep anything, it goes towards the price of those items, so it feels like you're getting money off, which is nice. Uh, the only time you don't get that $20 uh, back back type of thing is if you don't keep any of the five items in which case you just pay that 20 bucks to get the fix in general you know they're a company they kind of makes money somehow but usually there's a preview <laughs> that you can do um like i said i've been sick and just busy with the holidays and everything i don't know when they sent me my fix uh preview I missed it though in my emails so I have no idea what's gonna be inside this literally no I got nothing I got absolutely nothing I mean I don't got nothing I got my five items here <laughs> but I've got no ideas of what might have been sent to me so let's take a peek see and see what they send see if it's gonna be anything good we have ooh, what looks like a very nice sweater at least I love this color and stripes I love stripes this is a very nice nice like lavender pinky plummy kind of a purple it's very pretty I don't know what it is but something about these kinds of like tortoise shell buttons they're very cheap looking to me, which isn't inherently bad. I don't know, but it, it kind of takes away from the sweater, for me anyways. Not that I would usually ever have it buttoned up anyways, so it might not be too big of a deal, but it looks like a nice striped cardigan. Nothing too terribly special here. Mostly soft, but a little thick. Not scratchy, but like that thickness where it could be scratchy if it was another kind of material, but it looks like a very normal cardigan, so I'm not mad at it, but I'm also not like super excited excited about it. I just, I have a lot of cardigans already, so I try to be a little picky choosy with them if I ever buy them nowadays. It feels like we've got some shoes in here too. Oh, this is soft. This is a nice soft thing. What do we have here from Nine Breton? A hoodie? A very, very soft hoodie. I worry with it being this soft. Is it gonna last or am I gonna put it through the wash once and it's just gonna not be that soft at all anymore? Because like the main reason I would want to buy this is because of how freaking soft this is. Like this is the kind of softness where you find this in store, whoever you're shopping with or even if you're not shopping with anyone, you want to go up to a stranger and be like, feel this. Oh my god, you need to feel this. Feel how soft this is. You know, it's one of those kind of softnesses. Um, but it looks like just a plain muted olive green kind of a hoodie. I don't think there's anything special to this. Oh, okay, it's got a little twist, twist at the bottom. <laughs> like a literal twist. <laughs> but otherwise not super exciting. I mean, don't get me wrong, totally up my alley. <laughs> Just with the way Stitch Fix is usually priced, I don't know that I'm gonna necessarily go for it because I wanted to have a little bit more visual interest than that. But... Anywho, we've got another sweater. I mean, it is the middle of winter here, so it makes sense. It's like a gray sweater. Is that literally all this is? It's from Market and Spruce. Pretty sure that's the Stitch Fix brand. I mean, it's a nice sweater. Don't get me wrong. There's nothing wrong with it. It looks like a slightly high-low to it here. It's a nice, like, heathered gray sweater. It's very soft. It's very nice feeling. But it's a gray sweater. It's a plain gray sweater. It'd be a good basic. Don't get me wrong. 
<laughs> and we have a pair of black pants. I love black pants, I do. I used to love them, like they were like what I wore every single day. I feel like I go more towards denim nowadays, like denim denim. And this is the kind of black, it stinks. And I don't know that a wash would get that smell out. But um, from the brand 1822, nice and stretchy. But uh, oh, that smell, ooh, that smell. I don't like it, I just don't. <laughs> but uh, black skinny jeans, I'm assuming. They were a little rolled up there. But yeah, black skinny jeans. Okay. I actually don't even know that I own a pair of black skinny jeans that fit me right now. Um, but either way, okay. I mean, these are very, very basic pieces. <laughs> this is what happens when I don't do my preview. You know, I feel like I get previewed a lot of these basic pieces, which is great, but like not what I'm looking for kind of a thing. Um, so I usually pass on them. But then we've got a pair of Vans. I used to love Vans. Oh, these have got like a suede to it. Um, but these are just black platform sneakers. I mean, they're cute. I like them. They've got the canvas on the sides and then like said the toe of this. I'm not sure that you'll be able to see that on camera, but it's like a suede material. I don't know that it's actual suede, but I used to live in vans. I loved vans in high school. They didn't have the laces on them, but uh, good old slip on shoes. Okay, so nothing terribly exciting here. Not gonna lie, <laughs> but hey, it is what it is. Let's try it all on. All right, so first things first. It's a little gloomy today. I hope you guys can see me. I don't have a tank top on underneath this, so I'm feeling a little exposed. But here's the first sweater, the first cardigan. I mean, like I said, it's a very standard cardigan. There's nothing to it. I can tell the fit is very standard. You know, don't get me wrong, it's very cozy. I like this kind of a fit where it's not clinging to me everywhere. It kind of feels like you're just wrapped up in a nice blanket. And like I said, I do like the color of this. I really like the purpley pink. It's very, very pretty, but it's just not special enough for me to want to keep or anything, you know what I mean? And then the pants, oh, I have no idea what you're all about to see because I haven't looked in the mirror. I can just tell this is gonna be FUPA central on me. <laughs> We're just like showing off all of the lines of my belly. Belly button crease, FUPA crease. <laughs> I mean, granted, they fit me. They're like ever so slightly pinchy at the waist, but they've got a bit of room to them in the crotch area here that I don't love. Otherwise, they're actually like the perfect length for me and the fit and stuff in the thighs, and at least from what I can tell, the fit in the butt is very nice, but yeah, I wouldn't, I don't like the pinchiness at the waist and also, like I said, the extra fabric in this area just isn't for me. All right, we then have this hoodie. I have no idea what it's trying to cling to, <laughs> very strange places of my body. It is very loosey-goosey in the wrist area here. That would kind of drive me nuts. I'd be scared that my sleeves were gonna drag and everything. I mean, it's a very cozy feel, but it's kind of like, I feel like a, an anime character <laughs> or a cartoon character with the baggy sleeves. Sorry, we'll get that cardboard of the pants out of the way. God, this is just making my boobs like bulge under there <laughs> the way it's clinging. But yeah, I mean, the tie, I can only tell based on my viewfinder there what it's looking like. It's not the most offensive, like, twisty bottom or anything, but I also don't know that it does anything for me. Like I said, it might actually be one of the nicer twisty bottoms I've ever had on my body, but overall, I just know that the sleeves would drive me absolutely crazy, and I would be very scared that the second I washed this, it wouldn't be so soft anymore, but overall, I mean, it's very inoffensive. It's fine. It's just not for me. And then we have this sweater. This is actually a really, really nice sweater. I like the collar that it's conservative for me. I don't have to worry about cleavage. Ugh, tripping over my words here. I don't have to worry about cleavage, but it's open enough. It's not choking me or anything. So I've still got a nice like open neck here. I could wear a necklace. Um, the sleeve length is perfect. I love when it comes to this point of my thumb here. It's just that's the perfect sleeve length for me. It's very soft. It's that perfect amount of, I know it would keep me warm in the winter here, but not so warm that I'm always constantly profusely sweating because of it. It's also a beautiful color of gray. Like this color of gray looks nice on my skin color, I think. And it's a great length where, yes, I could wear this with 
regular denim or anything but if I wanted it covers the booty so I could feel perfectly comfortable wearing this with leggings and some like tall boots or something it would be very cute I actually really really like this sweater and I do have a gray sweater that's like similar to this but like a plain gray sweater type of a thing that I could trade out of my wardrobe because I've kind of been considering getting rid of it anyways because I don't grab for it so often but this one I would grab for this very often this is a very very nice sweater I really like this I mean like I said it's plain there's nothing to it but it has some details to it you know like the slit with the slightly lower in the back I like the detail of the color of the gray like I said sometimes it can be hard to find the right color of gray for you or at least for me I shouldn't speak for everyone and just like the weight of it is good the sleeve length is perfect like this actually might be a great thing for me to have and then the vans I know I did not lace them up I mean props they actually do fit on my wide feet that is nice they do feel comfy i like the platform they are actually very cute i just own black and white sneakers already so like for me these are not a need but if i didn't already have black and white sneakers i'd actually be pretty tempted to buy these these are really cute like i said they're comfortable if vans are still the quality that they used to be they'll last a long time and like i said i do like them and they do fit i just i already have black and white shoes so i don't need them but they are cute for an everyday kind of a thing so yeah probably not the most exciting stitch fix y'all have ever seen me open before however i understand the idea behind it you know i think it it matched my style in that it was a lot of basics and i do go for some more plain items nowadays i would say so it was a valiant effort i suppose <laughs> just not a uh, complete hit out of the park so let's see what my stylist had to say looks like we got someone named Erin this time it's happy new year they're my new stylist they love that my last fix was a hit and they hope I'm gonna love this one just as much unfortunately not but you know that's okay you tried they just said you know these are versatile they can be worn together the sweater can be dressed up or down like overall yeah yeah like the outfits that they showed in here not a perfect match to me but also not awful so a vast Valiant effort. Now let's look at the prices. Let's see how much that gray sweater is especially. We have got the purple long sleeve cardigan, so that must be the striped one. That was $48. I could absolutely see it, you know, retailing for something like that in a retail store. The skinny jeans are actually cheaper than I thought they would be. They're $48. Bucks. I thought they felt like, you know, a $68 pair of jeans, so that's actually nice to see. I mean, I'm not going to get them, but still nice to see that price. The twisted hoodie, the olive one, is $31.97. Random. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen a Stitch Fix price in the sense like that. You know, like usually it's $48 even, it's $50 even, it's $39 even, it's $31 even. <laughs> this $31.97. Yeah, I could see that. I could see retailing for like 35 bucks, so not bad for that. The sneakers, I know Vans are definitely about that price. These are 75 bucks. I'm sure you can find them on clearance for like 60-ish bucks somewhere, but that, that seems about right. And then the sweater is 48 bucks, so I can totally get behind that. Like I said, I really, I like it on me. I've been thinking about trading out that other sweater of mine that I have anyways, so I will put my $20 styling fee towards that gray sweater and just be happy about it. You know, I got to do another Stitch Fix video with you guys. Like I said, not a complete hit out of the park. I wish I would have caught the preview, but alas, such is life. It is what it is. <laughs> I still hope this was enjoyable for you guys to see me try on the items, see what you think of things on me. You know, you can let me know your opinions and whatnot down below. I do. I just like Stitch Fix because most of the time it helps me to get on my box and try on things I wouldn't normally. These are all things I absolutely would have normally tried on in a store. <laughs> So a little less exciting in that sense, but either way, I am a Stitch Fix affiliate, so if you do want to use my code, or not my code, my link down below, anyone that signs up for Stitch Fix, you can be an affiliate. It does not have to do with the fact that I have a YouTube channel, but if you do want to go ahead and use my link to try out Stitch Fix for yourself, it gets you some money off. I think it waives your styling fee for your first box, and then it also gets me some kickback that basically I just put towards buying Stitch Fix clothes. <laughs> so either way, if you would like to check Stitch Fix out for yourself, please do go ahead and use my link down below. I would really appreciate it, but otherwise just let me know your thoughts in the comments below. You can also let me know if you enjoyed the video by giving it a thumbs up, 
down below. That was horrible. Thumbs up down below. <laughs> I would really appreciate it. And if you're new here, hey, hi, hello, how are you? You can go ahead and subscribe by tippity tapping that notification bell down below and become a member of my casserole family here on my channel. I'd love to have you here. And as always, I just hope you guys are all doing well. And until next time, just stay well until then. Bye.